Cool, so am I still in? Cool. Um, what we're looking at right now is a portion of the instinctive movements mural off of 47th and Lake Park, Chicago. Um, we're reaching the end of the project. It's been a long three weeks going on to about a month now. Now, like I said before, this whole project was inspired out off of the community at large, which is the Kenwood, Oakland, High Park neighborhood of 47th and Lake Park, Chicago, Illinois. Um, the whole, the other inspiration of this um, project was to actually show a progression of a people going towards um, more of a positive idea and more positive actions right there. So, um, so therefore, the mural itself starts off um, with, with the whole history or what, who and what founded Chicago, which is a brother, um, John Baptiste Point du Sable, which is a, he was a founder, a settler of Chicago, and it actually ends off at the, at the lake. Um, the point, like one of the bigger points behind the project was just to inspire people. Inspire people, you know, to follow their own destiny right there. Um, said, at the, said at the meeting, trying to sell this project, I say it now. Like this wall was destined to be done like this, like for, for, for a long time. This is something that the people need to see and needs to be inspired by, all right? Um, straight up, it's about time to switch up that old guard mentality that happens in um, Chicago politics and Chicago bureaucracy from um, administrative work on down to the art scene. Um, point being is though, is that, um, yo, this has to show the people how, how it's really supposed to get done. I'd like to thank everyone that actually participated in this project, from all the volunteers to all the other paid professional artists. Um, everyone out here actually came through and fought their ass off to try to get it done. I give everybody full credit, like um, as far as coming through day by day to actually see to it that it gets done. And what that goes to prove is what happens when you have a number of people that come together that actually agree on one idea and actually get it done. It's called people power. It can work in a positive or a negative way. In this situation, it actually worked, it, it actually worked out in a positive way. Because everyone on here that actually worked on this project actually believed in the project, including yourself, Robert, that's shooting this video right now, leading the project enough to actually want to come through and video document the project. That means something is happening, right? Other than that, you know, show people how much more can be done with the spray can as far as, far as fine art goes. Because it seems to me in the United States, um, being in the United States in particular, the Midwest, even to the East Coast, you know, like, um, even, no, across the whole United States, I'm gonna take that back, where people are having a hard time seeing um, anything done with a spray can as being legitimate art. But these days, we're trying to prove all that shit wrong. And it's, and it's happening right now. To a point of where, um, you know, people walk through here and can't, can't tell the difference over what is, over what is done with what. Um, point being is, at the end of the day, it's all painting, and you all got to remember that. Thank you.